Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome home. So a little while back, I made a video on the Steam link, which concluded with, however, this, this, and even this can do all of that and more. Using an old laptop or a low-spec PC, mini PC, or even your phone with Parsec and Playnight will allow you to stream from your main gaming rig in a console-like experience. And thanks to Space Noob 404, we're actually going to make this suggestion a reality. I may or may not have forgotten about that video, but hey, Space Noob, this is for you. Before we actually delve into this process, I want to emphasize this guide is one of many possible ways to set up a cloud gaming environment. And while there are more advanced methods, this is one of the most easily accessible, and I've not had any issues with this over several years of use. So here we are on my main PC, which will be used as a host PC in this example. This is a computer that will be running the games that we want to play. The first thing you need to do is head to the two links in the description. One takes you to Parsec, where you have to log in and try Parsec. The other one takes you to Play Night, where you hit this download. Parsec and Play Night walk you through the initial setup. Play Night helping you link accounts from Steam, GOG, and any other launcher accounts that you may desire. So don't worry, while I'm not showing it on screen, it is very straightforward and they walk you through the entire process of setting up those two applications. Once you have everything installed, we're going to hop on Parsec to make a few adjustments. On the left side, let's hop into settings. Under the client tab, you can make some adjustments if you want to change vSync to on, change your render or whatever else you feel may benefit your system. The most crucial setting to change is going to be under host. Make sure hosting is enabled. Resolution, I usually change the client resolution. Your bandwidth limit, you want to set this as high as possible. Parsec only allows you to do up to 50 megabits per second, and you want to set this as high as your bandwidth can handle. So Parsec allows us to basically remote access our computer from any other device so we use Parsec and log into our account. However, let's take this a step further to make this feel more like a game cloud streaming service. Play Night is a front-end that basically compiles all of your different games from different launchers. You link your GOG, Steam, Epic account all into one user-friendly UI. So once we're in here, you can hop in, go to settings, adjust anything if you like, update your game's library by the individual launchers, or update all at once. However, we're not going to mess with any of those settings. We're actually going to just hit F11, which is going to restart Play Night into full screen mode basically like steam big picture mode for better use with the controller then next thing we're going to do is navigate to the file location of your play night launcher right click on play night and hit copy then you're going to hit windows plus r to open the run dialog box type the command you see on screen hit enter and it's going to take you to the startup tab where you're going to right click and paste what you've just done is tell your computer to run the Play Night executable every time you restart your computer. And as soon as it boots up into Play Night, it's going to open into big picture mode. That's going to make this feel so much more like an actual game cloud service. And you'll see what I mean in just a moment when we hop over to the spare PC. Here we are in the spare room where I use this older i5 mini PC. Made this janky little setup just to showcase Parsec in use. Another tip just from experience, if you plan on using controller, I recommend going and connect the controller to the PC before starting Parsec. So once you have your controller connected, you have downloaded Parsec from the link in the description. You've logged into your account. Once you open Parsec, you should now see two computers. One is going to be the computer that you're currently on. The other one will be the one that we set up to be the streaming PC. So if we connect to that, as you can see, we're now in the PC that's in the other room, running Play Night, compiling all of our games from different launchers into one single location. Now let's test out latency, see how it feels to play. And what better game than Doom? completely playable. I've honestly felt worse than this on console. While we got this moment doing some game testing, I just wanted to thank you all for being here. Thank you for making it this far into the video to continue channel support. Sorry this isn't my most creative work. I've been a lot more pressed on time after starting up this new podcast, uh, pumping out other videos. 
doing the streams, trying out new games, interacting with you guys, and doing this giveaway. Speaking of the giveaway, we will be doing another one sometime soon. There wasn't an actual winner, so look forward to that. The prize may grow between now and then. We treat it like the lottery, basically. Without any further ado, let's get back to this video. And as you can see, Doom ran with absolutely no issue. The same is going to go for all of these games. As long as your PC can run it well, and you have a solid internet connection on both sides, this is no issue at all. For demonstration purposes, if you click on the little Parsec icon you can see on the top left of the screen, go to disconnect, and now you're back on your PC. Parsec really opens up so many different possibilities. Like if you download the app to your phone, you can connect to your computer the exact same way we just did from that other computer. And like that, you now have your own cloud streaming service. I highly recommend you use this with either a controller or connect it to a hub with a mouse and keyboard. It's basically unusable if you're just using the screen. You can kind of select different things, but as far as playing games, it's going to be impossible. However, not only do you now have access to playing games from your PC on your phone, you really have full access to your computer. If we just go to minimize, you can see now we have full access to this PC. I could start recording from OBS, start streaming, do whatever I want to do on my computer from my phone. But that's for you to play around with. This tutorial was mainly for Play Night and Parsec. If I taught you anything you may not have known, may not have known exists, please consider hitting that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned for the new broadcast coming this Tuesday at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with my boy True Blue. Thank you all for being here. I'm going to holler at y'all later.